Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this cantilever beam. So this is a cantilever beam of length of 5 meter. We see here that this cantilever beam has a length of 5 meter and there is a uniformly varying load of 6 kN per meter acting on this cantilever beam. So this load is increasing here from 0 kN per meter and increasing up to 6 kN per meter. So it's a cantilever, it's a cantilever beam, it means that it is a fixed support. You see here, this support can resist horizontal load. For example, this is support A. So it can take the horizontal load. It can take the vertical load, R, A, Y. And it can also take the moment here, M. So now in our case, the R, A, X is equal to 0 because R, X equal to 0 because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. So there are only vertical, R, A, Y is unknown. And also, the moment is unknown here. So, to find these two um, um, terms for this uh, beam. So, how we can find it in a very easy method for a triangular load acting on the beam? The easy way is to find out the area of this triangle. For example, we see here that this is a triangle acting on the load. This is a triangular load acting on the beam. So, we have to find out our AY. So, for this, we can find out simply the area of this triangle. So the area of this triangle will be equal to the load in this beam. So the area of this triangle is half base into height. This is the formula for our triangle area. So half base. Now what is base? Base in this case is the length. Base is 5 meter. Multiplying it with the height. Height is here 6 kN per meter. So 6, 6 kN per meter. So if you multiply and divide this thing, we got here 15 kilonewton. So it means we find out the area of this triangle which is 15 kilonewton and this is basically the load acting on this beam. So it means that 15 kilonewton load is acting here at the centroid of this beam. 15 kilonewton. So this is the first step in order to find and uh, first step to find out the load acting on the beam. We just find out the area of the load how we find the area of the load because it is a triangle load that's why we find out the area of the triangle if it was a simply if it was a uniformly distributed load for example like this one so we have to find out the area of the rectangle for example this is the uh, this is the length and this is the height of the load so in this case we have area of um, triangle so we have to find out by area of triangle if it is a trapezoidal load for example like this and then increasing like this so you have to find out the to find out the area of trapezoid here in this case. So this is the first step. So we find out the load and it is 15 kN acting on this beam. So now we know that there is only one support acting here, A, R, A, Y. So the vertical direction will also be R, A, Y will also be equal to 15 kN Y because, because this load is will be supported by a support. So we have only one support, A, and the vertical direction will take the vertical load. So the vertical load will only be taken by this reaction or by this support. This is equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. If horizontal x is equal to zero. Now how we can find the moment here? So to find out the moment. So for moment we can use a very simple formula. Moment is equal to the force. Multiply by the moment arm. So now the force is known to, to us which is 15 kN here. But we have to find out the moment arm. So for triangular load we see there is a triangle. There is a beam for example and there is a triangular load. So keep in mind how to find out the moment arm. So if this is a fixed support A for example. So if, and if this is the length. L. So how we can find the centroid? Centroid of for this triangle is always from this in it will be two third of L, two third of L, and from this in to this in it will be one third of L. So similarly, in our case, this load is acting here at this distance from the support. So this will be two third of L, and L is five meter here, so five meter. 
So this comes out to be, if you multiply this and divide it, we get out 3.333 meter. So this is the moment arm for our load. Keep in mind that this load will act in the centroid. Why? Because we find out the load and this load always act at the centroid of the beam. If it is a uniformly varying load or distributed load, the way when you find out the load will always be acting at the centroid. So for centroid to find out, a centroid always act at two thirds of L from one side and one third of L from the another side. But it depends on which side you are taking. Here in this case, it is our two thirds of L. If it was from this side to this side, it will be one third of L. But this is not our interest here. So now force is 15 kN. Multiplied by the moment arm. Moment arm is 3.3 meter. So if you multiply, we got 50 kN meter. So this is the moment here, MA. So we find out this moment in A and MA comes out to be 50 kN meter. So this is the way how to find out the moment in support reaction for a um, cantilever beam with a uniformly varying load where the load changes throughout its length. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you.